memories for the Um A lot of positive ones, obviously. We Last time I was here, we left on a good note winning the, the NYPL championship. Um, it was a quick turnaround. We came home from Staten Island and had to rush to pack up all our things and get home, get to Pittsburgh to fly out. But um, definitely a lot of good memories here. Um, the community, the fans, uh, the coaching staff. I mean, everyone's top notch. Everyone's positive, and, and they're all welcoming me back. And I'm, I'm just glad to be here. What are the Pirates as you work on the um, just more consistency. Um, I was in Charleston and I wasn't an everyday guy and I was sent down to the Pirate City in Bradenton and I got to play every single day and I was working one on one with uh, a couple of our hitting coordinators and um, it was just finding my rhythm and fi finding what worked best for me and uh, I felt like I got a lot of good work in and uh, ready to prove it out here in Morgantown. Right, sir, I think you felt like you were maybe trying to do too much, uh, trying to hit a home run every day. Yeah. You could say that. Um, definitely, it was just I um, I was out there and I would I would try and press a little bit too much and I, I just wanted to, to succeed a little bit more uh, than was physically possible. You know, you can't get four hits in one at bat. So um, it was it was a grounding experience and uh, I think I got my feet my feet going in the right direction and uh, I'm looking forward to be here. So. That's tough. Though. Your whole life, I'm sure you probably started on every team, and all of a sudden you're not playing every day. That's not that's not an easy thing to go through as a player. What was that whole? No, it's you're like right. You? It's not easy. Um, it's something I've never had to do, but I knew at some point in my career it's it's going to happen, um, and it's something you got to deal with, and you have to embrace it. Um, it's a big thing in the Pirates organization is is uh, embracing your role, and I think that's something that. Um, I've had to learn and I'm still learning to do as long with everyone else in, in the organization and um, it's definitely one of the most important things. You have to embrace whatever role you're given. You sort of take it upon yourself to be a leader for this team. You and the other guys. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we got here, we, we know the way around, uh, around the town, around the ballpark. Um, we, we've been through the league. We know the, the daily grind. We know what it takes to succeed in this league. and. Uh, we're here. We're we're open to conversation with anyone who needs it. Um, we're not going to be pushy or anything like that. Not the I'm the captain, you're the new guy. Nothing like that at all. But um, we're here to help and anything that the new guys need. Or uh, we're, we're glad to provide it. How long did it take last year you feel to, to really feel like a team? All you guys coming in from all over the country, basically nobody knew each other. How long did it take to you felt like? Um, I'd say the first. After the first month, um, we, it was it was a unique situation last year. We were a lot of college guys, um, a lot of draft guys as well, and um, so we all kind of came from the same the same background, being from a, a university. And college baseball kind of has the same play style, so we just had to we had to learn our own individual college play styles, and then we kind of meshed them together. And it didn't take long. We all fit well off the field, and we just had to figure out what, what fit on the field. We all got along in the clubhouse, we all got along back at the dorms, and we just had to put all our play styles together, and I think we really hit our stride um, actually towards the end of the season on the field, but um, we got going at the right time, and we barely squeaked in the playoffs, and then in the playoffs we, we were unstoppable. I mean, we knew how to play baseball, and we, we were the best fundamental team out there. What I told you we might be playing uh, no, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where I'm playing. I just want to be on the field. And, uh, most importantly, I want to be in the batter's box. Um, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to get at bats and, and uh, prove myself as a hitter. And wherever I'm in the field, uh, just play good defense no matter where it's at. Uh, how has your developmental process changed from going from high school to college to, to the pros? I mean, what's, what do you do differently now that maybe you did before? Um, I got drafted out of high school by the New York Yankees, and at the time, I, I would have told you I was definitely ready to, to go sign and play pro ball. Um, now, looking back at it, I wasn't. Uh, there's definitely a lot of maturity that I gained at UCLA. Uh, just as a man and as a ball player, um, you know how to handle yourself. There's a very uh, important level of professionalism that the Pirates expect, and I think that college being the first time that you're really on your own, you kind of get the taste of that. It uh, definitely prepared me to be here, and um, 
my coaching staff at UCLA was all about professionalism, all about respecting the game. So that was definitely a, a big step for me to take. And uh, I took that in here to Morgantown. And I think we had good results last year, and I'm still building as a player and as a person. How much does maturity play into what you can do on the field? I mean, obviously there's a lot of high school kids like yourself who, who would probably would have said the same thing. But once you start gaining that maturity, how much does it uh, affect your game and your ability to play baseball? It's huge. I mean, in pro ball, I mean, you're, you're going to get a ton of at-bats. There's 60, 70 at-bats a week. I mean, at the end of the season, that piles up. You're getting hundreds and hundreds of at-bats, and you don't, you don't have to take every single one as, as a do-or-die situation. I mean, you don't have to – if you get out, you don't come back in the dugout, and you're not upset. I mean, obviously, you want to get a hit. You want to be a, a positive uh, influence on the game. But at the same time, you're going to be getting 500 at-bats, so you can – go within yourself and realize that it's not that big of a deal that I got out and and kind of stuff like that and then off the field you have to be mature enough to make uh, decisions that put you in the right situations I mean you can't be staying out too late you can't be eating all this fast food and you have to make the right decisions that lead to, to good performance on the field so. this season so far you've kind of been struggling with the power do you, would you say that's more adjusting to a new level or just the lack of playing time you were getting down there? Um, I, I wouldn't say it's the new level. Uh, the competition was, was just about the same as here. Um, I don't know. I, I had a tough time. I was ready to be in a, in a starting position there, and, and uh, things didn't turn out that way. And I wasn't upset. I just, well, I mean, I wished I would be on the field a little bit more. Um, but I, I accepted my role, and... I just, I never hit my stride fully. Any more questions?